Hey guys, I've got something new today that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using this turtle mold and I am gonna put some little eyes in him, of course, but I have this little night light. So what I'm gonna do is I've already got it taped to a popsicle stick. So the resin is gonna be clear. I'm just gonna add some Marabou rainbow alcohol ink sparkle to it. And then I'm just going to suspend it like that. That way it's not touching the bottom. And it's going to be a very simple process project. And we're going to see how it comes out. So I just got a pack of these. I got them on Amazon. They, uh, let me find the box. <coughs> so they are just um, mini night lights and they come in a package of 12. So I'm like, oh, these would be really cool to add into stuff. I did see um, Julie on Pouring Your Heart Out use one in something, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. But I'm like, what else can we put them in? So I want to put them in this turtle, and then I, I'm almost thinking... I have these frog molds, and they would fit, but they would, they would like be protruding out a little tiny bit. So you'd have like a quarter of an inch sticking out, which wouldn't be bad because it would just make him look like he's sitting up in the air. So we might end up putting some in there too, but that'll be a different, a different video, a different day. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my UV resin and we're going to get the eyes put in first. And then I will mix up the resin and all that and get them poured. So let me just grab my UV resin. This is just the UV, um, Let's Resin UV hard type. And let me get my little set of tweezers here. And the eyes are like really down deep. So I'm going to try. Oh, I got a nice big gob. And these are just round, so I don't have to worry about the if they're in the right way or not. I just got to get them. Um, like sitting into the resin. All right, so I'm just gonna stick my light to get them set. And then I will, once I'm mix, mixing up my resin, I will put this under my double-sided UV lamp and let it cure for like two minutes on both sides just to make sure that we have got a nice, strong bond. All right, so that is secured. And let's get the other eye in. And again, I'm just putting a big enough gob. It doesn't really matter with um, like today's project because we're going to be pouring the clear resin in with the sparkle. So, oh, hang on. You move just a little bit. All right, hang on. Now they're both out. Hang on, it's because I didn't cure it long enough. All right, so let me just start over. Let me see if I can set it with the tweezers. And I'm just going to put this back in because it's going to be clear, so it shouldn't show. Oh, 
it was in there, but when I moved the other one, I popped that one out, so. And let me try to get it from that side. All right. So now I'm going to try to get this one. Get that sucker cured. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if you can see they're in there. There we go. Now you can see that they're in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this into my UV light for two minutes. I'm going to put you on a pause and I will get my resin mixed up and I will be right back. Okay, I've got my resin mixed up. What I did is I split it in two containers, four and four, and now I am going to just pour it back into one so we can mix up the sparkle. And I will spray some alcohol into the mold before I pour this, just to prevent any bubbles that I might create when I'm stirring it. So I prob what I probably should have done was um, put this in and then put it in the bubble thingy. <laughs> and this you want to mix up really, 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 really good. I just want to have it have like a little bit of a a shimmery shimmer to it, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's pretty. So it just it gives like little rainbow speckles throughout it. All right. And why I only put one glove on, I don't know, guys. <laughs> All right. And I, I'm not going to fill him up too, too much because I want to get that light in. But I got to get enough in there to make sure that the head is full. Now, I had measured it, and it said 8 ounces, but I just saw on the mold, it says 13.1 fluid ounces. So, and I don't want to stick my stick in his head because I don't want to dislodge the eyes. All right, so let me take my little night light. So I can tell I'm going to have to weight this down. Because it's wanting to float. 
So what I will do is once <laughs> once my stuff comes out of the um, the heat mat, I will put this one on the heat mat. Um, so this one took, I have an ounce and a half left, so it was, it's, it was pretty close to the eight ounces. All right. So what, what I got to do is let me just kind of lean that some way. I'm going to take my thing off. I'm going to get some tape. And I'm going to try to tape the stick down to the side of the mold. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to, we're going to try. I gotta, I have got to, all right, we're just going to leave it just like that. Alrighty guys, I will be back on the demold. Alrighty guys, we are back and this is done. But before we unmold, I gotta tell you about my mishap. So I ended up putting it over on my drying mat once I took the anchors off. And the, the, the thing that I ended up putting over it was a little bit too heavy because I didn't wanna leave my UV resin bottle on the heat mat because I didn't know if it would mess up my UV resin. So I switched and I put something else on while well, it was too heavy. And what it did was it, the resin got on this cover. I about sliced my thumb off. And so then this piece like broke off and I'm like, really? Now I'm stuck with like a hole in my turtle with no light. So I grabbed another light and the little cover just pops right back in. So I was able to save it. So right here, um, because I didn't think to put tape on the stick, it stuck and I had to cut that off. But, <clears throat> and then I made an extra little skull. So we're gonna unmold the little skull first. Oh my gosh, guys. He is gorgeous. So I do have a little bit of cleanup on the bottom. I could have domed him a little bit more. But he's beautiful. There's no bubbles. Oh, my God. All right. Let me get my mold back together here. And let's get this turtle unmolded. So my husband is not here. So... I will have to get the pictures with the light on after, and I will get them posted. Oh, I had a bubble in the tail. I have a few bubbles on the bottom. Oh, look at him. Oh, 
Oh, he is beautiful. So there's a, there was a few bubbles. Oh, I got a little rambunctious. I should have taken my time there. But other than that, he is gorgeous. And there was a few little micro bubbles down in here, which is fine. He's a turtle. He's a water. Um, so, yeah. So, I will get some pictures with um, the lights off so you guys can see them. Oh, my gosh. I love him. So, I will be doing another one so that... Um, I don't have the bubbles and now I know to make sure that I don't put something too heavy there so let me know what you think in the comments I just wish you guys could see it I'll post some pictures anyhow alrighty guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one bye